hopefully we have a tough planning uh, today. Okay, what's the planning? We have several startups to accelerate. The first one being X3. Hey, by the way, hi, uh, hi. Francis. Welcome in the 3D Experience Lab, the uh, Open Innovation Lab of Dassault Systems, where we accelerate startups uh, for digital projects on the cloud, but also physically here. Behind the window, you have the uh, 3D Experience uh, part of it, where we mentor and we coach the, the projects. Uh, and here you have the uh, Fab Lab, where we can prototype things, even uh, manufacture uh, composites. But hey guys, uh, what are you doing uh, right now? Hey, we are just starting a, a design session with Nadja from uh, X3. Good, welcome Nadja. Okay, good. Well, let them work. Yeah. See you later. And Francis, you will uh, tell us what you think. Bye-bye. Huh? Okay, Francis, for the pavilion, we were discussing a very organic shape. So we, we started from the shape of uh, coffee seeds. Yeah. So that's the, yeah, that's the ground drawing. And we just needed it to be very pointy on the top, so that's the wave, so that we can print it easily. And so... And, and you were talking about doors? Yeah, so one maybe two, doors. yeah, one on each side. And so about the roots, the, the roots, we could integrate them into one of the walls. Yeah. So like this. This is the idea, so we're going to, to combine everything. Yeah, exactly, so that we have the, the roots on the inside of the pavilion. Okay. So what do you think? Hey Francis, look at the amazing optimization we get from the software. It's really interesting how the shape is creating and the movements creating and this optimization. But maybe now we have to look more about the structural validation and maybe there is some interesting points of, for the traces up here. And I know that, that Jean-Daniel worked on it. So can you explain what you found and what you imagine? Yes, so Francis, I use this uh, 3D experience platform and the simulation apps to validate the structural uh, of this building. So here I put some gravity on wind load cases. We can think about, of course, uh, earthquake uh, uh, cases, for example. So here uh, we can see that the result of this optimization is very good. We have very stress, uh, low stress uh, level, so it looks pretty good. Um, and I think now what we can uh, look at also is really to make sure that the manufacturing process will be okay. And what we uh, think about is really to uh, add one by one the different, um, uh, the, the different layers related to the manufacturing process and make sure that uh, well, this will be uh, perfect. Yeah, that's great. Hi Francis. Hi Laurent. How is it going? Hello Philippe. Uh, I just found this in the 3D printer, so I assume it's yours. Yeah, it's the latest version of the pavilion with all the structural elements, uh, which you can see uh, the, the analysis here displayed. Yes. And uh, you see on the right, uh, it's the cross section of, uh, of the building, of the pavilion, uh, with the sinusoid inside the walls. Yeah, and the small structural uh, yeah. reinforcement here. Yeah. Do you want to have a look? Yeah, of course. Thanks a lot. Yeah, it's really nice. So, Francis, I think you also should have a look at it. Hi Francis, welcome to the X3 workshop. This is the robot who we got to use to print our drawing of the pavilion. And now let's go to see the different steps. This is where we prepare and we measure precisely the different components to make the special concrete who we use to print in 3D. This is a special mix we developed with Lafarge Olsen. And this is our special concrete maker who we use to prepare the mixture. Let's see for the programming part. Because we are using an ABB robot, an industrial one, this big guy, we use like rapid programming. And for us, for X3, the development part, it's about the printing head and how it's worked. Actually, we are in development phase, 
and we managed to understand the different parameters to print accurately concrete. And now let's see how we print. 